Hey guys, I'm Lana and I'm a photographer and retoucher from Croatia and in today's video I'll show you how I did my creative cell portraits using Stella Pro Reflex S lights. Light and Motion has added the world's first continuous strobe hybrid light, making a combination of continuous LED light and ultra-fast strobe and it's powered through the universal standard USB-C cable. Uh, the Reflex Lightning is very lightweight, uh, it's easy to use and it can easily fit in your camera bag, the same as a regular flash. The battery can also be detached from the head for a quick battery change when needed. This ability also gives you more options uh, mounting the light as well more flexibility in packing it into a bag. It can be used in three ways as a continuous power measured in lumens, as a burst and as a continuous light that bursts when triggering signal is detected. This powering hybrid lighting system can go from 100 lumens all the way to 18,000 lumens. When it's in continuous on a battery handle, it works maximum with 6,000 lumens and on a USB-C power up to 9,000 lumens. So when it's in digital burst, strobe mode on a battery handle, uh, the effective light output of the Reflex S is doubled and it's giving up to 12,000 lumens. You can reach up to 18,000 lumens or higher when using USB-C wall charger. Digital burst mode also fires up to 20 frames per second with full power, without overheating, without recycle time, offering strobe duration control down to even one millisecond. Pressing and holding a rear dial activates the various menus options and Reflex S of the Reflex S and uh, cycles between operations of continuous or digital burst strobe mode. The displays, it's easy to read. Um, it can also be rotated for easy and viewing options. In menu, in menu you can set wireless, uh, choosing transmitter type like Elinchrom, Godox, Bluetooth, Group, channels and you can also set up different modes. Also Stella Reflex S lights have portable design, weight less than two pounds, uh, so it means less than one kilogram, including the swappable rechargeable USB-C USB battery handle. It's also water resistance. It doesn't mean you can throw it into the water, but if it's raining, you don't need to worry and it has one meter of impact resistance. Also, it works with a variety of compact modifiers, industry standard modifiers and light stands, um, including Chimera saw boxes and spider holsters. holsters. Um, it also has iOS application available for product registration and for firmware updates. This light can be also triggered from either an Elinchrom or Godox uh, flashpoint trigger. And it's also possible to trigger the reflex alongside your current lights for situations where you need a multi-lighting setup. And I will show you how I did it in one of my next clips. But before we start with anything, I just want to say there are two different ways to attach modifiers. First way is the mini Elinchro mount. With this mount you can attach um, various soft boxes as well adapters to get access to other mounting systems such as Bowens, Prophoto, etc. Second way to attach modifiers is with direct mount system. This is where you can attach various lenses and diffusers and these lenses are used to focus the light into tighter beam of light. So they don't add power to the LED, they do give you more usable power by giving you a more concentrated beam of light. And what do I have here? So let me show you. I have two Reflex S lights, two Reflex S batteries, 
two USB cables, small, medium and a large. A small one is the short one that connects battery and light. A uh, medium one I usually use for charging the batteries and the long one, 3 meters, I use for direct uh, power to my lights. What else do I have here? Let me see, let me see. So I have flat port, covers and protects the light. So usually you can put it inside the soft box when you're using it or just to protect your light. Also what I have is, let me see, it's a, a medium optic. It delivers 36 degrees beam of light and it means it's increasing the lux on the subject. subject. And also what I have, it's uh, right now on the light it's the medium wide lens. Medium wide lens uh, is 65 degrees beam of light. And also what I have, what I have, let me see, is this the one, this is the medium wide, medium, medium. Yes, here we have, here we have a spot optic. Spot optic delivers 12 degrees beam of light. And so, yeah, these are the lenses I usually use. Uh, also, what we have here is dome diffuser. It creates wide, uh, soft diffuse light and we can use it to further diffuse uh, when using softbox. And also what we have is 50 degree optic. It also gives you soft but narrowing the beam of light. So these are the modifiers that are really you, uh, easy to use and you just put them on the light counterclockwise. So what's next? A light stand mount. Light stand mount, you can mount only reflex S headlight or with the battery base on the light stand. So what I wanted to say is like, I can mount it like only like the head and here is the part where I will put it on the light stand or I can put it on a battery on a light stand. Also what I have here are barn doors with filter holders. It looks like this as you can see. And with barn doors, of course, you can control the light. And with these holders, of course, you can put them in front of the light. But these are not normal gels. These are set with 82 millimeter glass filters. And you get three in package. So that's it. What I also have from the equipment is Chimera Speed Ring. 24 inch Octa Beauty Softbox by Chimera and also 30 inch Beauty Softbox by Chimera. So these are all modifiers and uh, things I use in my shootings and today I'm gonna show you how I use some of these modifiers. So looking forward to show you and let's start. For the first setup, I used Reflex S light with Chimera 30 inch softbox red gel. Position above and slightly behind so the red light is partially falling on the side of my face and body. And I've set it on a burst mode since it's gelled and I didn't want to have a problem with overheating using a continuous mode. On the right side, I position second Reflex S light, blue gel with a medium optic lens. I used it with barn doors because I wanted to focus the light more on the patterns in front of me. And since I'm surrounded with white walls in my studio, I wanted to direct the light more so it doesn't bounce from the white walls or adds unnecessary light. For the second setup, I left my Chimera 13 softbox in the same position, above and behind me. Since I wanted to achieve on this image a soft light without harsh transitions, 
I decided to turn the blue gel light from the right side slightly away from the subject. This is called feathering the light, where the edge of the light is hitting the subject, giving a smooth transition. Also, to soften the shadows coming from a red gel softbox, I added a golden reflector. And this is how I got the overall soft look image. For the third setup, I used a combination of strobes, speed light and reflex S light. This is what I love about reflex S lights. You can easily add them in your shoots, combining them with Godox or Ellen Chrome Studio lights. I position my main light 45 degrees from the left side using my Godox AD400 Pro blue gel with a standard reflector as a modifier. On the right side I positioned Reflex S light with medium optic lens, red gel. Uh, since I wanted to capture a movement, I set my light in continuous mode. A little bit of jumping and moving around and this is how I got my third image. With the reflex, it's quite simple. What you see, it's what you'll get. So if you like this video, click a like button below and subscribe to my new YouTube channel. Uh, also, you can follow me on my IG account, also linked below. And yeah, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it and see you next time. Bye.